Hi everyone! So I am still, well, I'm in Spain at this precise moment in time, but by the time this video goes up, I would have left Spain, which is really sad because I've really enjoyed my time here. And I've loved every minute of it, but unfortunately these things have to end. So yeah, I'm on holiday and as some of you may know, I'm very into makeup and I was gonna really struggle. I, I hate going on holiday because, because of the one, one good reason, because I can't take all of my makeup stuff with me because it will fill a whole case, and well it wouldn't yet, but it's, it's verging on that. And um, I can't take a whole case of makeup because I need clothes and shoes and bags and everything else a girl needs. Um, so I've had to condense my makeup down and so I thought I would show you what I thought I thought were essentials but to be honest I this is the first time I've worn makeup in Spain I have not worn any makeup here so in a way it was a bit of a waste of time thinking and bringing it but you know I didn't know what I was going to feel like but I'm going to show you what I brought anyway all of my makeup has fitted into this bag here which is like the size of my face um, this is tiny but it is bulging so all my brushes all my makeup products everything is in here apart from skincare stuff everything I managed to fit into this bag and so let me show you what I brought I apologize for these brushes they are not clean I cannot be bothered to clean them most of my brushes are from Real Techniques, so let's just get that over and done with. These are all the brushes I brought with me here to Spain. That's seven brushes. That's not bad, not bad. So I brought the Real Techniques buffing brush from the Core Collection. The Real Techniques contour brush. The Real Techniques Foundation Brush and the Eco Tools Large Powder Brush, which I have a review of on my blog. I will link that in the description below. I got the Real Techniques Deluxe Crease Brush, the Real Techniques uh, Base Shadow Brush, and a brush from Topshop, uh, the Angled Brush. Hasn't got a name. Oh, I also brought eyelash curlers. Never know when you're going to need them. Now on to makeup. So for face foundation thing, I bought BB cream. Uh, this is the Rimmel London BB cream. Uh, so because it, ha I brought this because it has more. It has a high SPF. It has a good SPF in it. Um, it's li it feels light on the face, so it's not gonna like cake on like a foundation wood, and it's not gonna like drip like patch. Well, it does, but it's not as bad, and you can just top it up and it's good for the face. Then obviously I brought my Collection Lasting Perfection Concealer um, in shade Fair because I don't tan. The Rimmel Stay Matte Powder which I haven't used but I still brought it anyway because I normally would. I then brought my <laughs> I then brought my Revlon Highlighting Palette in Rose Glow. I brought my Bourjois Chocolate Bronzer to contour with. The only eyeshadow palette I bought was this Makeup Academy uh, palette which has 12 eyeshadows in. Um, it's called Undressed and for those of you out there who don't want to spend lots of money, this is a very good dupe of the Naked palette. Um, I am very into Urban Decay so I would know. Um, but this yeah, it's exact, pretty much similar, like exactly the same shades, but just a lot cheaper version. This is four pound uh, from Superdrug. So if you want to try out uh, the colours, because you're not sure whether you'll wear them, uh, which was me, I bought this. I bought this first because I re I realised that they were the same because I wasn't sure if I was going to wear all the colours. Um, I ended up I do wear all the colours, but this is the palette I take with me on holiday because. If it gets broken, I'm not too upset about it. Whereas if my naked palette got broken, it'd be the end of the world. I'm I'm not even joking, but yeah. So I can't go anywhere without an eyeliner. So I bought my L'Oreal Super Liner in Perfect Slim in shade black, just in case I decided to do a winged eyeliner look or an eyeliner look at all. I haven't. I brought my Soap and Glory Thick and Fast 
Super Volume Mascara. Mascara Super Volume. <laughs> um, I brought this one because it's, one, it's um, not too expensive. And also, I don't mind if it gets broken or lost or... Um, also, I just think it's a good mascara. The last three products are all lip products. So I brought my uh, Barry M Mat Me Up Lip Crayon in shade 3, which is a hot pink. Again, I've got a blog post, a review on this. So I will link that in the description below. Check it out if you want. Well, no, check it out anyway. I brought my Tanya Burr Lip Gloss in the shade Afternoon Tea. Um, which I'm wearing right now. I love lip glosses for summer and spring and I just love lip glosses in this. And these offer a really good, like, nice colour and they they just feel really nice on the lips and um, staying power is pretty good. And the last thing I brought is a lip balm. Uh, this is the, I don't know whether it's baby lips or baba lips, but whatever you want to call it. Uh, a Maybelline lip balm. <laughs> uh, this is can someone tell me what the shade of this blue one is? Like, the smell of this blue one is. This is the Hydrate one. But can someone tell me what the smell... It reminds me of a smell. But I can't think what that smell is. I can't believe they're the only products I bought. Thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you would have in your travel makeup bag. And I will see you very soon in another video.